Well, in case you're unaware, today is uh, Prime Day on Amazon and they have the Echo Show 8, the new one, the 8 inch uh, with stereo sound for £65. A lot less than I paid for that original American uh, Echo device in the background there. And also the Echo Show 5, which I bought one as well, at £45. I bought that for, actually for a Christmas present. So a good day for Christmas presents. Anyway, I'll just show you a couple of integrations. Firstly, using Home Assistant and um, the um, uh, K&X system in my house. So I can say, Alexa, lounge south on. That's a table light here. Okay. There you go. There we are. And of course, so once it's up on the screen, I can of course do a manual off if I want to, or you know, manual back on again or whatever. Um, and I'll show this with uh, a dimming lights uh, scheme. Alexa, lounge down lights fifty percent. That command doesn't work on device lounge. Oh, strange. Alexa, lounge down lights 30%. Okay. I don't know why it didn't understand me the first time. Anyway, once it's up again, I've got the full uh, dimming, dimming control. I go down, down here and um, then I can uh, switch off. It's off, off indication or indeed switch back on again and uh, say vary the dimming as I like. So if you have a tricks up its sleeve, I've got uh, my uh, Hike Vision cameras integrated with Home Assistant and uh, over Nabucasa as well. That's the key thing here, over Nabucasa. Alexa, show driveway left. Okay. So it's uh, one, one view of the, uh, the driveway. Alexa, show driveway right. Okay. And then uh, Alexa, show front door. Okay. And uh, it's another integration. If, if I put the TV set on, um, there's another little uh, thing that happens as well. Um, and uh, just put that on. So here we go. Here's the TV. Apple TV. So let's say we're on the Apple TV, for example, um, which on YouTube. If I switch uh, inputs to uh, the Virgin, for example, Virgin TV. So the other thing this does is actually switch lighting scenes as well, um, according to the. Um, input you've switched as well so if you're watching tv versus listening to spotify then i've got different lighting scenes for that and that that talks back through home assistant to the knx uh, um, system as well i'll just show you the um, room controllers as well this is um a, a typical this that's a gear room controller it's, it's 10 years old now the lovely thing about these though is you can change these um touch surfaces to aluminium or different colour schemes and the surrounds, this happens to be a glass one, there are wedge wood, there's all different, there's hundreds of different designs, there are standard German 55mm um, um, fitting. And I, I've got rocker switches on this one here, and then you've got the thermostat. Now the thermostat is, um, uh, it, it supports two zone heating and cooling in here, so you can control air conditioners a whole lot through this. Uh, completely automatically and of course you won't be in a situation where the heating's on and the air conditioning's on at the same time for example if, if you're doing that. I've got dual zones in bathrooms where I've got um, a, uh, a underfloor circuit and also a, a towel radiator circuit which uh, obviously have different temperature settings, different programs all, all within in this. It's also a temperature sensor so you don't need any other sensors. Now in this room, the living room, there's um, uh, uh, two heating zones in the underfloor because it's quite a large room. So it's uh, you, you know you know one one end of the room like near the window is might be um, really hot and the other end might be cold etc etc. So um, there's another sensor over here. This also provides some functions: the patio lights in this case, um, kitchen cabinet lights. So if you're walking into the kitchen through this door, 
you can switch those on in advance you're going into that room and uh, obviously the down light uh, controls as well where they did the dimmer rocker etc and uh, on all these uh, devices i display the exterior temperature as well because it's nice to know uh, what the temperature is outside in the bathrooms i display the hot water temperature and uh, one of the buttons is programmed to switch the hot water on if you if you, if, you, if you need to do that um i've got a velux uh, windows uh, wireless windows and i've got a velux klf which integrates as well so not on this one but uh, on on other switches i can open and shut the uh, velux windows or i'll do it remotely uh, and they're, they're on a timer and if, if any windows are left open um uh, and uh, the weather's looking bad then then it, 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 then it will shut as uh, shut the windows etc as well so it's kind of like uh, integration um i'm just actually setting up another kenix unit um th this, this one here which you probably see has got presence control as well this is actually going to go in the bathroom it's got a, a set of this is a newer one it's a different manufacturer it's not gear it's uh, zenio spanish manufacturer who are big in the hotel market as you can see it's got a sensor which i'm going to use to um switch the mirror lights on when you go into the bathroom where I actually have to do anything. Um, again, I show the exterior and the hot water temperature. And this is the main light, down lights, and I haven't programmed the other lights and the shower lights. There's a, there are other menus on here, which you can uh, get, go, go into, change the color scheme in the shower, etc. And uh, last but not least, because um, the EV is going to go in the garage shortly, I'm putting a, um, and there'll be a power wall in there, I'm putting a smoke uh, detector Again, gear up, and this has uh, got a KNX interface as well, and self testing and everything. That's all alerted through home home assistance. If there's any problem, give me a remote uh, notification as well of any um, issues. I've got these uh, smoke detectors right the way around the house. Um, only one of them is actually KNX integrated. The rest are linked through Bluetooth and um, third wire. So it depends uh, on, but the Bluetooth modules are fairly. I mean, these are ten years old. Um, the Bluetooth module is a fairly recent addition um, to keep them up to date. Uh, again, I like the fact that you can keep these things up to date. Um, the silent button there is uh, designed to be operated by a uh, broom pole, you know, um, sort of dish so that uh, you know, if you can't reach it otherwise, then, then you can actually uh, switch, uh, uh, switch it off remotely. And actually, it's a, it's a dual sensor. It's actually, um, it, it's not uh, an ionisation chamber, it's uh, optical. And the second sensor is rate of change of temperature. So even when you silence the uh, kitchen one, and it never goes off, frankly, because it's so resilient to, you know, normal kitchen smells that uh, a um, uh, um, that an ionisation chamber would go off, do a false alarm on. Um, when, when you silence it, the rate of change of heat or rate, rate of change of temperature still remains active. So you're not uh, not in there um, so yeah that that's just a couple of um, couple of bits oh that's my little octopus thing um, I've got octopus integrated in the home assistant now um, using their API I'm actually using the Hildebrand uh, um, consumer access module I've got that as well running and I'm using that to do the integration to um, uh, a home assistant etc and I'm, I'm when I've got the rest of the API working, when the MQTT is working properly, then, then I'll be able to do a few more clever, clever things with um, the energy supply and the power wall, of course, when that comes. So, anyways, a couple of examples of integration. Oh, the other integration I should mention is um, door and window contact. So, if, if this door's been left open, uh, that will defeat heating circuits as well. So, if the door's been left open for more than 10 minutes, then that'll turn the heating circuit off. Um, to, to save energy and you can put those on windows or anything that's that's actually a KNX sensor got another one in here um, a, a, actually the, the the main reason for putting these on these doors and uh, in fact, if I open one let's do that um, boom, boom, boom. yeah the, the main reason so let's open this door and uh, the kitchen patio door has been opened so, so that alerts throughout the house. So um, that, that, that's on all the external doors. Um, so if anybody opens a door in the middle of the night, um, and um, there's other means, if anyone opens a door in the middle of the night, we're alerted. So or even during the day, if someone came in through the back door and you were in the front because you'd left it unlocked, 
then you'd be alerted. The problem with most uh, home security systems, they only work when you switch them on. They don't work 24 seven. So this is a, hang on, why has the garage door been open when I'm sitting in the living room or, or something like that? Um, I, and I have, to, I have actually got, uh, that sensor up there is actually a dual uh, movement and um, a light sensor, ambient light sensor as well. So I can use that if, if I wanted to switch lights on when it gets dark. Um, I tend to use uh, sunset and sunrise cycles for this stuff, but uh, it can be done. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, there's actually loads of stuff which is uh, uh, interesting. If I go in the downstairs living room, it seems pretty obvious to me to um, have lights that work automatically. Now, that's a Philips down light there. The um, sensor there is uh, sensing uh, uh, pr presence, of course, and it not only switches this light on, but it switches on the light in the, in the outer cupboard under the stairs as well. So um, they're all together. And, and the other little tweak is there's a, a 13 amp outlet in there which charges the Dyson, but it only charges for as long as the light's on because you don't really want to leave a Dyson plugged in all day and all night, so um, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Um, this here is a water recycling toilet. Uh, the, the basin uh, drains into the uh, system, and that water is used uh, partially. It can be topped up as well, but it is used to uh, flush, flush the loo. So that's like a, a water saving uh, a toilet, which. Uh, I thought it was a great idea. Okay, it's all 10 years old. Uh, did this house 10 years ago, built, built it 10 years ago. So, uh, but anyway, there's a few, uh, few, few bits and pieces. Oh, I didn't even mention the door entry system. So that, that's uh, obviously for your personal security. And, um, but with the cameras now, it's kind of less relevant, relevant, <laughs> relevant, but, but it's also uh, the, the door entry system's integrated. And you can see the plates are flashed. In fact, this is a brown plate here. Uh, the other rooms downstairs have got black plates and uh, the bedrooms are different schemes according to the uh, decor and uh, these are easily changed they literally um, if you haven't put the screw on you can actually just pull these off and change them in uh, in a minute and uh, the the, uh, the room control of the light switch re reboots but uh, anyway just a quick quick overview of uh, uh, some of the knx integration there's, there's loads more i could go into but there's, there's a very quick quick view